Hello. Here I am going to show you how to design and simulate three phase induction motor for a different load conditions in MATLAB simulation software. These are the components required to implement uh, this three phase induction motor in MATLAB simulation software. First, drag all these components into your new model. After that, connect all these components as per the circuit given here. Here, this is the three phase induction motor. Here I am using three single phase AC voltage sources to get uh, three phase supply to the induction motor and these three single phase supplies are connected in star connection and uh, this is the load port of the motor. Here you can connect the load to the motor. The load whatever we connected here is variable load means the load on the motor varies from instant to instant. Here I have taken 4 instants. T equal to 3 seconds, T equal to 5 seconds, T equal to 10 seconds and T equal to 13 seconds. At each instant the load on the motor is different. Here M indicates the measurements. Here I am going to measure motor speed, motor torque, state or currents, A phase, B phase, C phase and uh, rotor currents A phase, B phase, C phase. These are the scope blocks. These are used to observe the wave, wave forms of the parameters. And these two are the display blocks. These are used to observe the values of the parameters. And this is gain block. It converts speed uh, from RPM to speed in RPM. I am using to conversion. For doing conversion, I am using this gain block. And this is power B block. It is required to work with uh, all uh, sim power uh, system blocks. And this is sum block. So first to drag all these components into your new model and uh, connect uh, all these blocks. The circuit whatever is given here like this. First take uh, one new model. Drag the component. The first component is asynchronous motor. Yeah, that is induction motor. First drag that one. After that uh, AC voltage source. And after that uh, power view block. After that uh, bus creator. You need one bus creator. And we need one ground block. And uh, bus selector block. Step function. And uh, sum block. And the display block. Go block and, uh, and gain block. Gain block. Now connect all these blocks according to the circuit previously I shown. This will take a uh, voltage source VA and this is VB and VC. VB VC connect A phase, B phase, C phase. Connect all these AC sources in star connection and connect the neutral point to the ground. This is the bus selector block. You connect this bus selector block to the measurement port of the motor 
and the double click here and the select which parameters you want to measure here i want to measure rotor speed select and the torque and the under the stator measurements i want to measure stator a phase current stator b phase current stator c phase current the same way under rotor measurements i want to measure rotor a phase current rotor b phase current rotor c phase current apply and okay drag this one and just enlarge this one now take on Four block. I want to measure rotor speed and motor torque on single scope block. Just double click on that one. And go to scope parameters and select number of axes is two. And this is select all apply. Okay. This is I want to measure here. Speed and motor time. take Bus created created two bus created one is for stator currents and another for rotor currents stator A phase current stator B phase current Data C this time. In the same way, rotor A phase current, rotor B phase current, rotor C phase current. Now I want to observe stator and rotor currents on single scope. Just two. For stator currents, rotor currents, stator and rotor currents. Stator and rotor currents. Here I am connecting one gain block here to convert the speed from R radius per second to RPM. Now to enter one constant that is 60 by 2 into 5 with the conversion factor from radius per second to revolutions per minute. And now connect the scope block to observe the values of the speed and the torque. Here you connect the load. Instead, here I am connecting variable load. And here, double click on the asynchronous motor model. Here, preset value. Here you observe the preset model. There are around 21 preset models on there. First, 1 to 14. All these uh, preset models have 60 Hz frequency. And from 15th preset model to 21st uh, preset model, the frequency is 50 Hz. Select any one preset model. You can select this also, no problem. Here I am selecting preset model 50. See here, the output power is 4 kilowatt, supply voltage 400 volts, frequency 50 Hz, 
and the rated speed is 1430 rpm. Here the supply voltage is 400 volt. It is RMS value. The RMS value. But uh, here, here peak amplitude and phase frequency is as well. Peak amplitude means peak value is as well. The conversion from RMS to peak. And uh, here it is uh, uh, star connected. That's why in order to calculate the maximum value, this is the formula you have to use. Root 2 into VR, VRMS by root 2. You will get 326.54 volts. Just to give 326.54 frequency 50 volts. Here I am 3.6.54 You can see 50 H And uh, all these uh, uh, three phases are connected in star connection That's why all the phases are displaced with uh, 120 degrees phase difference That's why minus 120 50 H and here how much load we have to put on the motor for that we have to calculate the shaft torque of this motor for the speed for this power what is the shaft torque of the motor we have to calculate first what is See, you know types of torques in the induction motor brass mechanical torque loss torque due to friction windage and iron loss and shaft torque or load torque pa equal to t last plus t shaft you know power p equal to t into omega and uh, for this preset model output power is 4000 watts and uh, for this speed 1430 rpm you can get uh, 149.67 radian per second with this, you can calculate the low torque, full load torque or shaft torque is 26.72 Newton meter. And uh, uh, half of the full load torque is 13.36 Newton meter. And the 1 by 4th of the full load torque is 6.68 Newton meter. I want to observe the motor torque and the motor speed at, uh, for a different load condition. Here I observe at t equal to 3 seconds, I am going to apply full load on the motor. At t equal to 5 seconds, I am going to apply half of the full load. And at t equal to 10 seconds, I am going to apply 1 by 4th of the full load. And at t equal to 13 seconds, I am going to apply zero load on the motor. At every instant, I want to observe the motor torque and motor speed. After that, uh, we can draw a graph between uh, torque and speed. First here, I am going to connect. Here I am taking four instants. Four instants I am taking. Instant one. This is instant one. T equal to three seconds. Instant one I am giving. T equal to three seconds. And instant two, instant three, instant four. Here t equal to five seconds. Here t equal to ten seconds. Here t equal to thirteen seconds. Here I want to apply t equal to three seconds. I want to apply full load. That is twenty six point seven two. Twenty six point Seven six point seven two. I want to apply. Apply. And at t equal to five seconds, I want to apply half of the full load torque. That is thirteen point three six. Thirteen point three six.
t equal 10 seconds. I want to apply 1 by 4th of the kilo that is 6.68. And t equal 13. I want to apply 0 load 6.68. I will cancel it. I will get 0. Okay. Here, just to observe, here I am applying full load at 3 equal to 3, half load at 5, 1 by 4th up at 10, 0 at 13. To get these things, I have to put here minus, minus, minus. You take this one. See here, this is full load, this is half load. Previously 26.72 minus 13.36 is the half load. And here, 1 by 4, 6.67, 13.36 minus 6.67, we will get a 1 by 4 load. Here, 6.68, previously 6.68, 6.68 minus 6.68, we get 0 load on the left. We will get like this. Here we take uh, one more scope block to observe the wave shape. One. And also one display block to observe the value of the load curve. Okay, now everything is ready. Just to simulate, take the simulation time 15. Because up to 13, we are bearing the load on the motor. So it takes simulation time 15. Okay. Okay. Similar. So you can observe the load torque and everything. Get ready. Now can observe. See, at t equal to 3, the load on the motor will get there. the load on the motor, full load on the motor at t equal to 3. That's so why speed decreases torque increase. At t equal to 5, half load on the motor. That's so why speed increases. Torque decreases. At t equal to 10, 1 by 4 to full load. That says speed further increase and torque decreases. At t equal to 13, 0 load on the motor. That says speed further increase and torque decreases. The same way, the same way, see these are the stator currents, these are rotor currents. At t equal to 3, the load on the motor increase. That so stator currents and the rotor currents increase. At t equal to 5, the load on the motor decreases. That's why stator current decreases and rotor current decreases. At t equal 10, the load on the motor further decreases. That's why current decreases and here also current decreases. At t equal 13, the load on the motor is zero. That's why the current rotor currents are zero and then stator current, very small amount of current stated. Okay, to overcome the losses in the machine. See, you observe the just observe the load variation from 0 to 3, no load on the motor. At t equal to 3, full load on the motor. At t equal to 5, 1 by half load on the motor. At t equal to 10, 1 by 4th of the full load. At t equal to 13, no load on the motor. Okay. Just uh, take the readings at uh, different instants of uh, uh, motor and the speed readings and just draw the graph between uh, speed versus torque. Thank you.